Hello everyone, welcome to Tectony again and today we will be designing live a uh, bunker silo um, base location built underground where our large rocket can land vertically and hide away underground. Next I started building it out but I noticed that sometimes I'm not going to be able to have a consistent height level for the bunker remember we're building it underground so at one point we have to decide okay here's the entry into our bunker and that's the level that we set on so depending on um, the mineral deposits we may want a deeper level or a, a shallower bunker a, so I thought the best thing would be to build the bunker modular. So I backtracked, I scrapped what I was doing, I brought the silo up to space so I could uh, design in full daylight with um, because underground it was very dark and hard to see. And also because uh, now I can uh, be without gravity and therefore I can cut, uh, paste and, and uh, move around pieces so that uh, I can I can create a blueprint quickly and efficiently. So what I've been working on here, this area here, is a cargo container area on one side, on the other side as well, but on the middle it has a hydrogen thrusters. Let me show you. Here we'll connect it later to a command area that controls all this uh, production line. So already here we have um, hydrogen area uh, with a transparent LCD panel that it's going to tell us how much hydrogen we have and we'll be able to control it using that button panel. This is open, but I opted to create a frame because if you remember, we dug outwards into the bunker. So we have plenty of room above the 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 um, bottom of the silo uh, of the uh, hole we dug uh, for our star uh, small craft and drones to fly around so we could even use drones inside the bunker notice we pretty much have this amount of height and distance from the silo wall which is this one the shaft so there's plenty of room for drones and small craft to fly around the cylinder, around the shaft cylinder and repair anything as well as we have a tr uh, Starship printer. So this printer will be able to build those drones, send them out and also when enemies come to attack, we'll be able to build very quickly fighter starships, load them up with ammo and then send them off uh, up to the surface to fight off our invaders, our attackers. Excuse me. Okay. So the other area besides the cargo, oh, the cargo also has a assembler area designed in a way that uh, we have two assemblers with speed modules but if we really needed to increase production, we can uh, extend through this conveyor board, we can extend and add even more. So that's uh, one thing. And, and then uh, in order to save PCU, we can remove the extra ones and then stay with only two. I still haven't put the armor blocks, but I'll do that later. Uh -huh. And then what else? What else? So yeah, here is going to be the entrance. This is going to be, this uh, block here is going to be an airlock that connects the habitat and command center of the bunker from the exterior. Here's, there's, there, there's gonna be two walls laterally as well, which are going to, so say, okay, let me, let me draw a story or, or tell a story. So you land on your rocket, vertically and then using blueprints and projectors we lined up so that whenever the the rocket touches the bottom of the shaft silo the the hole it lands using landing gear locks to the ground 
and at whatever level the door is, I'm going to put this airlock so that when you land, it's going to be lined up to the rocket door. So you get off the rocket and then you enter the airlock, which is not powered right now. So I'm going to have to climb through the ceiling <laughs> because, yeah, there's no way to open the door right now. But yes, uh, they're, they're going to enter the airlock here. They're going to either pressurize uh, to go further in or they're going to stay depressurized um, in order to go to either side laterally. So to one side, they're going to have the 3D printer and to the other side, they're going to have the industrial area. But they're going to be able to um, exit the airlock and then just walk over the rock surface, the, the, the rocky surface of the cavern of the of the who's <clears throat> so called sorry <clears throat> excuse me yep yeah so they, they'll be able to exit the airlock and then walk a, in the exterior towards the either the um, 3d printer or towards the um, industrial area and uh, again, the industrial area is armored because since there are going to be drones flying around, I want them that if any anyone, you know, accidentally runs out of battery and the drone lands, it catches on the armor blocks and doesn't try not to damage the um, either the cargo or the hydrogen. Because if it breaks a hydrogen tank, then all the hydrogen is wasted, is spilled into the air, and it's going to cause a big explosion. And if it uh, drops on the cargo, all the cargo spills. And we all know what a um, hassle it is to pick it up manually and have to uh, put it back in to the, to the cargo system. But yeah, I'm going to finish uh, building this. But I think I need a jacket because I'm, I'm just shivering and you can hear it in the voice. So I'll be right back. All right, thank you for your patience. We are back now with a sweater. I should <laughs> not be shivering so much. Okay, let's turn back our HUD. And I have already uh, put some blocks in the toolbar. So next, what I want to do is I don't like the block, so I want to give it a bit of a, a shape so that it's not so cube, but I've already created the face of the entry. Uh, we can use, we can use these half slopes here. And then we can use a corner Right there and that way we create a little platform so that it also like it's not like engineers are like just you know <laughs> brushed up against the window in case not to fall into the shaft <laughs> there's a little a uh, room so that they can stand comfortably in before they fall and also it doesn't catch it's also not protruding uh, far enough that the rocket will catch it with one of the turrets or anything but you have to be careful. It's going to be the one area of the shaft 
uh, you notice this wall, this square wall will line up with wherever area you decide in the shaft here that is going to be the level you want to build your bunker at. So uh, we don't have to worry about shaping this wall because it's going to be part of this shaft wall once we line up the blueprints in the modular plan. Next, uh, I probably want to keep this open because I think it, it, it is nice. There's not going to be any weight on top of it. And we can put a glass and you can see things like the cavern at the top. And you, if, when you're flying on drones, you can look below and see people, uh, you know, walking in and out of the airlock. So that's pretty cool. And you can save the block because one, like, windows are very inexpensive blocks. Let's see how much, just one PCU. And this is uh, one, two, one, two. So let's try a three by three in the middle. Okay, let's get, let's just get the, this one, the two by three and the one by two. And then in the two by three, we're gonna look for the three by three and see how big that is. Probably that can go in the, in the very middle. So let's put eight, let's use eight and let's look for the straight. And then we can put on each corner. Okay, here we're gonna have to do something else. So let's go and get window one by one. one Although no, I think there's another configuration I can do that's even better. Let's try like this. It's pretty much the same because it's symmetrical, but I guess I th I saw this. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It blocks the three by three. Yeah, we need a one by one. So window one by one. That's the face. Nope. Two by three, one by one. No, one by two. There's this is the one. Window one by one. We need the inverted. Or do we? Yeah, we do need the inverted. We can even put LCDs, but no one's gonna look up. So now we could should be able to fit the three by three. So it should be seven. No, nine. 3 by 3 awesome awesome and then we can well we can put one by ones or you could put armor blocks and create it like a little bit different almost like the the ceiling is supported Yeah, I think I like that. So let's switch. Do we have space? We don't have space on this one. Okay. G. Then I'm going to switch to the half armor slopes because I know these ones. If I use the, the one with the flat end, I can attach things to it. And it also locks the three by three window. So it snaps to it so that it doesn't fall when I remove these windows. And I'm gonna confirm that by removing all the windows and it should not fall. Yep, it snapped to it. Ah, I can do this better. I think I like this better than the windows. Then I only have one three by three. But I like to design 
from inwards of the build outwards because I can always shape it outwards and give it, it like remove the blocky feel uh, by giving it a few corners and things like that. But if I design the corners, then I cannot add space inside. You know, I can only remove space. So uh, I, that's why I work my way outwards so that I can always add space if I change my mind. But let's switch now to the new armor blocks. I love these blocks. They added them pretty recently, but they add so much more in terms of uh, shapes. And for example, before you couldn't add a corner to the half armor slopes if you build them like this. Uh, but now you can use the, what is it called? I, light armor sloped corner base. <laughs> what a name, huh? But yeah, this is the, now creates a corner inwards and I like to use it so that it creates angles and dynamics inside. It's not just a flat cube inside your base either. There's also uh, corners and angles. Plus, it's also a double layer of armor as well. If you'll notice, this is the inner layer and then there's gonna be a layer on top, which is gonna give it a little bit of more cornering uh, or, or angle. But that creates so that if something falls on top of it, it's gonna damage the first armor block and have to destroy it before it starts damaging the one below it. So it's it it's a little bit better reinforced and it's still not a, a ton of PCU or, or blocks. But yeah, we have a window here. So people are gonna be able to see the, the cavern structure above. And you could even use your voxel creator to create stalagmites and, 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 st and it creates a pretty cool uh, look. And then you can create lights on top of your ceiling, pointing them upwards on the roof and light the interior ceiling of your cavern, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, but yeah. Okay, so here uh, we are going to start creating the doors. So let's create the lateral doors. G, door, and then offset door, boom. I'm gonna place it on the outer blocks, on the armor blocks, so that it lines up like this as well. And I can place sensors. You notice that I can place uh, any uh, something in front of the door here. So I can place a LCD panel or something, but that's because I placed the door first on an armor block, on an exterior armor block. And I can now also place windows and still place things in front of it. So let's look for the window and the wall. <laughs> okay, now, uh, look for the corners. You want those, you want them to, like that. The angle corners at the bottom because there is a labeling on them and you don't want people to look very closely at the danger label and then read it and notice it's upside down. I'll show you the danger label. Here it is. Danger, high voltage. But if you place it with the corners, the sloped corners above, then people get close and see it upside down. <laughs> so it's happened to me a lot. Okay, on the other side, we have half, half armor blocks. So we're gonna get rid of these ones. We're gonna repeat the same thing. Okay, half armor blocks, seven. This is what also I like creative. You could also be using symmetry in order to build these. Hmm. I almost feel like I want to extend it one more block. Uh, because I would like to place, uh, I'll show you the corner. Let me, oh, it's already quick slotted. Okay, so I use the half slope inverted light armor block to do this pillar-ish kind of thing. Although it's not a pillar anymore. It doesn't look like a pillar. It would look like a pillar if I did like this. And I place it against the other one facing forward. So I guess I can break outside the box here and do something different. And then on the other side, what would look like a pillar would be to do the exact same thing. Although I could even use on this side, I could even change and use rounded. If I really want to go for the pillar look, that's what I should do. So this is one of the 
very, very, very few times I use the rounded armor blocks. But I think it's fitting. Let's see. Let's experiment. So how would that look? I like it. I think... No, no, we don't need... Well, this side, I forgot. This side is gonna be... It's gonna be light armor blocks. Square ones. Above, all around. Because this door, this airlock door, represents the entrance into the bunker from the inside part of the shaft. We're gonna line up the blueprint so that the door is at whatever level of the of the shaft uh, our rocket end the, ends up lining up with the entrance of our rocket. So that's gonna stay like that. We don't have to corner that. I'm gonna leave it like that so I remind myself. So then we don't have to design this here. And then What we could do, we can, instead of using the double windows, and that's gonna create a dyna like something different. Uh, so it's it's good. Instead, we can use the viewport because they are like a one by one window. And on the sides, we can shift to the half armor slopes again. There they are, seven. And I think I use the column here. Let's let's repeat the same pattern here. So five for the corners and then realign them. Then let's raise them up and use the triangle small ones as corners. Switch back to the slope and then connect them at the top. Now we need the half, half, half armor, half light armor. There they are. Yeah, you don't want to build this in in heavy armor. Although it doesn't matter because it's a station. Heavy armors are very heavy, and stations do not carry about care uh, care about the mass about their mass because they're stationary. You know they don't have to move that mass. So by all means, if you want, you can replace these with armor blocks heavy armor blocks it's gonna be expensive but you could okay so here we're just gonna create okay one level to connect it notice that I'm also gonna to wanna to cover the interior blocks on this side with armor blocks so that they're nice and smooth instead of like this different patterns on on the sides so um, but I don't know. I don't know where this door is. I'm gonna even even gonna remove these. Probably gonna make it like that. Yeah, conserve space. Conserve space if you can. Okay, it's less blocks, less PCU, more starships to build. Okay, so here I'm gonna start the staircase. G stair. That's not how you spell stairs. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the regular stairs because not, not everyone has the graded ones. I think I may give it a little bit more room. So let's put back the armor block and then let's start the stairs here. One PCU is not gonna do much. Okay, and then here we can start cornering and here's where I like again the these uh, new armor blocks that they added because they also line up perfectly with the stairs. You'll see. There they go. You see? It's pretty. I like them. Look at that. So yep, that's how you how I do stairs, and they're all nice and lined up. Um, now I can switch back or not. I, I can just mirror it, mirror it and create, um, actually I'm going to mirror it, but with one block like that. Nope. I cannot do it on this side because this side is the silo wall. 
So I'll ha I, I can just leave it connected. And that's good because it creates a little bit of asymmetry. So it creates interest. It's not boring. Like pure symmetry is boring. Asymmetry gives it interest. But then too asymmetric is chaotic. And chaotic is just like loud and like all over the place and like loses focus. So so it's it's not desirable either. It's like a balance. Like the like nature. Nature is a balance of order and chaos, right? Okay, so three, boom, nope, not the right one. Nine. And our, we're used to that. Humans detect patterns. Are very, very good at detecting patterns. So and that's one. It's one of the patterns of nature. Boom. Okay. So that's gonna be like that lined up on the when we land, this is what we're gonna see. We're gonna have a button panel somewhere here that we're or or a single button. So let's go ahead and place that. Let's commit it. We know we need it. So let's go ahead and commit sci-fi one button terminal because all you need to do is depressurize. <laughs> you need to just press to depressurize. Ah, you see? We don't have a convenient location for it. So let's try instead G button panel. Just a regular button panel because I can I can align it to the floor. Then I'm going to place it here because I'll probably like the control panel. Yeah, there. Maybe not. Maybe not. Because the buttons assign, assign left to right. So therefore, I only need one button. So it's going to be on this side. I don't want to have to like fly far. This is convenient. I'll see like, boom, depressurize, enter. And then, but yeah, we'll, we'll program that at the very end. I don't want to be removing <laughs> timer blocks that are already programmed because of being be accidentally, you know, and then having to reprogram them. So yeah, next G, I see the um, an area for me to put these railings, and I like the railings because they have the diagonal one, and you can use it to completely cover. We can probably put a door here. No, because then you have to skip the airlock. And then we can have uh, air escaping. No, our way in and out of the bunker is through the airlock. So people are not wasting the entire volume of oxygen that's going to be here. This is going to be pretty much a building, multi-floor multi, multi -floor building. And ah, that's pretty cool because if we have a command room here and then we put windows on top of it where you can see the rocket you can see the rocket and the airlock from here from this location and it's right above the entrance so we can probably here find a way to climb up if not create an elevator <gasps> we can create an elevator oh but the problem with the elevators is that they well they lose programming when you load them in survival because pistons are considered a different grid so you have to reprogram it Pretty much every time you you load uh, you load the blueprint or build it out in survival. Other than that, it is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna start committing the shape here of the ceiling because then we'll be done. Okay, it's as easy as that. Just give it a little bit of slope. Actually, we can give it even more slope. Okay, we can probably use a corner there. And then a corner there. So G feels like I'm nighttime. Okay, let's let's switch the sun. Actually, let's switch the whole thing. Nope. Okay. Where's the sun? 
Okay, control F10. Nope, that's not the one. Alt F10. There you go. Time offset. Where's the sun? That's good. I can see now. Okay. So G. The new ones. The new blocks are perfect for connecting half armor slopes. And then. Here we're going to use this one. Yep. Now oh, we can already do a corner here. How's that gonna look against the Nah let's let's go back. Let's let's merge in with the wall of the bunker. Of the silo shaft, I mean. Like that. And then we can now use half armor. Wait, before that, let's add the corners here. And now we can just switch to uh, light armor two by one by one tip. <laughs> That's the name of the block. Okay, like that. This is preliminary. This all could change. But if it does, it's probably this merging into a larger structure. So I'm going to already do it. I, I already foresee it happening. So I'm just going to do it now. Almost like committed. If I'm not sure of something, I'll leave it. And then I'll work around the things that I'm sure of. That way I commit the space, the, the the area of those blocks, the area they occupy. And then I can work around that. And then it usually like helps seeing something, you know, like complete, a part complete in order to figure out the rest. Like that. Okay, over here, I think I we need columns. Oh, it's because I haven't built the side, the shape here. But yeah, we have a structural column here that should give it structural weight support. Or look for that, you know, look like that. Probably should have used symmetry. Okay, now that I have these half, uh, armor blocks, I know that I'm going to put corners here. And there. And there. Next, I'm going to use. Let me just. Conf yep. This is where those corner blocks go. G. Okay, we already have them. Five. But D, they go. This one's go here. And one here. Two, three. One. And two and the other two so let me confirm there are three wide because i want it to be symmetrical yes it's three wide yeah it's good to double check because you don't want to keep building around it and then find out that it's asymmetrical where you want it to be symmetrical so now viewport and then we are almost done there are two types of viewports one without the cable showing and one with the wire showing so I'm going to make sure to use the right one, the one I'm using on the other side without the cable showing. And then half armor. Okay, nice. We have a sealed airlock. All right. And then we'll have to, this is another reason why I like designing blueprints in space because the connection for the, remember, we have an airlock, but it doesn't have a vent. So we have to find a way to connect the vent. And I'm going to choose one of the corners. I know that the base is also going to need conveyor ports. So pretty much uh, 
a, a, an area as close to the base, base as possible in order to save PCU by not needing to use so many conveyor ports to get to the vent. Uh, that's a lot of said, but yeah, it's it's just, it, it's helpful. It's helpful uh, to avoid running into that dreaded, no more PCU, <laughs> and doesn't allow you to build blocks. Let me drop a battery so I can get in. This is a temporary battery. I'm going to put it right in the middle so I remember to remove it. <laughs> okay, so now we can enter. All right, and then what I'm doing is gonna go inside and kind of decorate, okay? Let's do, we have viewports, okay. Let's do viewports here as well. G. Viewport, uh, we can use window. I like window because the, then I have all the options. And I can just change windows on the fly. Um, but also we'll need lockers, lockers, lockers. Because I like giving allies a, a place away from the conveyor system where they can place their their items. They can hide their items. So let me just make sure, what are we gonna do here? Half armor block, okay. G, let's move, we don't need the battery anymore. Half armor block over here, half armor block over there, and then a viewport there. Okay, the enemy's trying to raid us, see very little inside, but the people, inside the bunker see the entire airlock with this dual windows on the either side so people outside see very little in people inside see more it's minor advantage but it's something <laughs> okay so now i have those corners i can now place lockers and two people will get the wide lockers and uh, another two will get the smaller lockers, but they're the same. They have the same capacity. They just look different. And these ones fit now there and there, and there's room for four. So people can have tools and weapons here lined up, and it also looks fitting for an airlock. Now that that is committed, I can also choose where the vent will go. So I think the vent should go in one of these two corners. They're the same, um, so I'm just going to choose either, and then I'm going to place the vent, G, vent, right there. Okay, so now I need to cover it up. So what I'll do is I'll get catwalks. Catwalks are very inexpensive. Um, they're only one PCU each. So you can use them to decorate. And I can place in the corner. Just so it looks like fitting. I don't mind spending a little bit of PCU. And then you can always skip them. When you load the blueprint. You can say like I don't want these catwalks. I really want to be very very um, considerate about my PCU. I don't want to use them. But... If I have a space, then they look symmetrical, but we'll need them because maybe not, maybe not, maybe we do not need them. Let me remove them. Maybe I will. I, what I needed them for was to be able to place a graded catwalk on top of the vent. Uh, right now, there's a hole and people can fall in it, right? And it's kind of like awkward, but notice that I cannot put anything on top of it because there's no snap points. But if I, what airlock doesn't need a button panel? Pressurize, depressurize, force lock, force unlock. Yep. If I place it with the back of the button panel facing the the hole, I should be able to. And I and I say and I think it is more likely than not that I'll be exiting and trying to depressurize or entering and trying to depressurize. So I think the button panel should go either here or there, 
so that it's facing me when I when I enter the buttons and it's convenient. Um, so I'm just gonna place it here because it's also out of the way. G, catwalk, and then now we can place the graded catwalk because it's snapped to the button panel. Okay, so and then the button panel is kind of like out of the way. You can just here depressurize, although I think it's too out of the way. I, sh I think I want to give it a little bit more priority and so that I don't have to remove the graded catwalk. I'm going to place a second button panel here. That's where I want it. And then I'm going to remove this one. And it's not going to cause the graded catwalk to become its own grid. I can remove this and I think we're done with the airlock. What's missing is lights. So let's see, G, light. That's not how you spell light. <laughs> I think we're done with windows for now. No, we cannot place anything on the glass. We can place one there, one here. I want to be, uh, I want to save my light usage. Notice that there are 25 PCU. So one light that we place is like placing 25 armor blocks. So yeah, be careful. Like what we do with lights is extend the radius and the intensity so that um, they, they, we can save the amount of lights we use. So let's see what I'm gonna, I can probably put two LCDs, one here, one there, and I can put a light there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna put one single light facing outwards like that. No. Decisions, decisions. I can place an LCD here. LCD, LCD. I want my LCDs. These LCDs I go. Yes, nice. Okay, I can place G L C D flat flat top one there one there okay next in the middle we'll have the sensor g sensor boom sensor 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 and another one okay so here it's gonna say a uh, pressurized depressurized and then one is gonna be online the other one is gonna be offline so it's gonna tell you whether the system is pressurized or not and we're gonna only use two two LCDs. It's not like I'm going to cover all this with LCDs because LCDs are also very expensive. I'll tell you how much because I haven't checked myself and I don't know straight away. It is 50 PCU each. 50 PCU. Not not good. Timer block, sensor blocks are 25. Okay. So just be wary. But I like I like sensor blocks. I like not having to open a door, close a door go about my business oh back to base okay open door close door <laughs> that's annoying look see you i even have to look for the no no sensors make sure that all my doors close behind me and also on raid day when you're being attacked you want to make sure that the doors close behind you because for an enemy it is um it takes i think it's like five times uh, or something like that it takes considerably longer for them to grind a closed door than to grind away uh, and also a locked one. I think I think it makes it even a lot longer. But yeah, we have those. You know what we could do? We could place a spotlight above it. And that's our light source. I think I'm gonna do that. I think that's gonna look pretty epic. Okay, gee, we don't have to go too crazy either. 
So G, the blocks, regular blocks, we don't, we're done with armory. Okay, this is pretty much the silo wall, the silo, that shaft wall. I'm gonna just decide how, how tall I want. Although this is not really a good idea because if drones are gonna be flying around, they're gonna have something protruding that can cause them to crash right above the airlock. Okay, now let's let's not do that. Easy, easy. Look, we can place uh, blocks there. So let's get corner lights. Let's get corner lights and, and just place one there. We probably don't even need the second one. Okay, let's test that. That light has no range, so we have to look for it. There it is. And increase the range, the radius. We can increase intensity a little bit. And then you can change the color in order to see it. Yep, very little range. Here, this is where the you see it. No, it doesn't work. Maybe what we can do, okay, is invert the glass. That's the trick, okay? So let's go ahead and look for our three by three glass. Three by three. Inverted, perfect. Get rid of the light, get rid of the glass. Oh, we can place it right there. No, I like it. I like it here. Wait. We need the... No, we need the regular one then. The inverted one is not the right one. This one. Because now we can place it on the block above. To where we previously placed the... There it is. Place the light. And now we can now place below it. So, G. Light. Corner light. I guess I'll have. Yeah, let's try one there. Okay. You see? Now we can place one light there. Zero. And then to remove the, the block you have selected. Now let's change the color. Inside, inside the buildings, in the interiors, I like to use a warm light. So I reduce the green and the blue just a little bit because you also want it kind of like close you don't so you don't want it orange you want it kind of close to to a white like that like a warm white light and then radius and now that that affected fall off you see the fall off is like the gradient of it uh, so i like a little bit of fall off because it creates dynamic shadows but then you can raise the intensity and the 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 brightness is is going to be bigger and now I can turn off my personal light and see, show you how that looks. That's way better, way better than having the light outside. And we got all that light lighting with only one light block. So we, we were very conservative with our PCU. Next, um, here, this is going to be the interior. So we're going to hold off on that. We have done this exterior, but I think we're missing this side. So let's finish off that this side real quick. We already have the blueprint on the other side. And we'll start with the interior of the bunker. Then that one goes there. I think all this goes like that. Yep. And then a stair. But yeah, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to like. It really helps out. Uh, hit the subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss out. And I know recently I've been um, kind of like offline for, a, for more than usual. But it's because I'm moving back home to Puerto Rico. Yes, I'm relocating to uh, close to friends and family. And it's been a few years working towards this and it's finally happening. So it's very exciting time and it's taking a little bit more of the time that I usually have free. 
So that's that's the reason why there's nothing, you know, uh, that's gonna permanently stop or anything. Like it's just it's just a little bit of time that I need to invest here. And then once we're in Puerto Rico, we're gonna set up again, uh, but uh, in um, a studio, you know, and then we'll be good. But right now my apartment is empty. <laughs> I emptied it out because I sold things. Uh, I gave away a few things to a f to friends here in Florida, and uh, yeah, they then uh, pretty much empty right now. <laughs> Getting ready to turn over the key and 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 get on a plane so that's why also we don't have a camera we're here just chilling um so let's get the uh what do we call i always forget i looked for them they're called railings railings yep diagonal ones i like the railings because they have diagonal ones But yeah, safety first, guys. Safety first. <laughs> I chose the wrong one. This is the corner one. It's the straight one. There it is, straight one. Awesome. I probably not gonna put a railing, like put one there. If if that, there's probably gonna be a block, a, a armor block there. So I'm gonna remove it. G gonna get rid of the railings and replace it with a regular armor block and now this is the interior there's no more airlock this is all interiors here <laughs> I'm at a blank I don't know what to do <laughs> what do we need what rooms do we need we need habitat for probably like six people right there's like six players um, we need um, an, an area for kitchen, people that use mods, like kitchen mods and food mods that they need to cook and stuff. Um, so we need a kitchen. We need uh, an area here for people to drop off items. So like a storage container kind of drop off area, like a chute, like a, like a trash chute. So that like, oh, hey, I'm going to log off for the day. Um, uh, then then i'm going to oh that's so that it's even it's better instead of making a bunch of rooms we make one room which a bun with with a bunch of cryopods because when they log off they need to have oxygen rich environment and sometimes like i, I build out rooms but then you have to build the rooms each bed then you build like desk TV, bathroom for each. Then you build sensors for the doors. Each room has a door. Then you build um, like um, what a, a LCD for a TV. And then, <laughs> and then on top of that, after sealing it off, sealing the entire room off, you have to put a vent on it because otherwise, when the player goes to log out in in their room, they die because they run out of oxygen. So you have to, it takes a lot of PCU to build six player rooms. Um, it takes a lot of blocks and a lot of programming blocks, timer blocks, sensors and things like that. Um, so I, instead, I want to build one room, one cryo room. And probably we can build a cryo room right in front right in front of the rocket here it's pretty much the exact width notice that we have three blocks and then one corridor three blocks on either side of one corridor so we can put three um cryopods three. anyone know how much uh, how many players can fit in a faction what's the faction cap like because then we can build that amount of cryopods in one single room and it's still going to be less PCU than building six player rooms. But then the entire faction can log out in one single cryopod room. Um, yep. Then we can put a medical room in there. I'm just planning. I'm planning before I commit. Uh, it's easier to, to visualize it and plan it than having to regret after building it, placing all the blocks, having to also spend time removing the blocks in order to change it up. 
okay so here we are going to I'm gonna look Upwards, we can go upwards. We can go upward. How are we gonna go upwards? How are we gonna go upwards? We can choose one side, one side to be a stairway up, up and down the uh, the facility. The other one can be our lounge and kitchen area. Yep, rec room, recreation room, on this side cryo room on the front stairway up to a command room with all the uh, what's, it, what's it called control stations because there's also going to be turrets at the surface of course and you want to have control stations so that engineers at the bottom of the bunker can control your turrets at the surface uh, and and then direct them like shoot missiles at the freighters that are coming to attack you and and all that without before they even land um, so yeah uh, and that way your enemies cannot use decoys to uh, distract your turrets uh, in order to protect their freighters the, because you don't care about decoys you shoot this freighter but either way okay more planning more planning here we we go down and it's just rock we we walk around the rock and then so that we also don't have to build a tire surface of um, armor blocks uh, we save the PCU okay so let's start let's start committing to the stairway okay to the stairway I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna look for the center one two three one two three I think that's good I think this is good okay so let's put a door Maybe we don't even need the door. Okay, I'm gonna remove these blocks, three blocks, and this one too. Replace them with interior blocks. Interior blocks, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's gonna be like an archway. of armor blocks so let me go ahead and switch put put these armor blocks over the sensor probably I don't need this one and I think that's a little too tight yeah that's a little too tight Okay. Probably need one more. Okay. I think that's good. Yeah, there's a little bit of room here. Probably we can put a connector or something from the ground. Is a starship can park there or something there's a little bit of room that's good for something you know we can we can choose like I said it's, it's good to have room because you can always add remove but adding room is impossible and in space so interior block without reverting uh, interior block interior block oh we already have it three boom 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 boom, boom, boom like that and then we're also gonna extend here stairs and then I'm gonna use the graded stairs because there are they have a steeper angle And then there's going to be an interior block here. G. Yep, sorry for that. Interior block. 
gonna you replace the window you don't need the window okay another here wait I want to see I want to make sure that I'm placing them correctly because this texture is gonna be visible like that then I can switch them up three okay I'm gonna use armor blocks instead because I can I have all kinds of shapes and they'll still pair up together six for the armor blocks armor block here armor block there and then another one here three here goes the stair and then now I can choose eight Because if I, I use the slope one, it will not attach to whatever I place on this side. And I can I think I can fit a wall or I can, let's see, let's see how we, we can always change it up later. Okay. And that's our level. That's our second level. Okay, I'm gonna change this. And then I'm gonna replace them with the five here. Boom, boom, boom. Like that. Nice. Very nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I like this. Let's use slope armors and then the very small one like that. Very cool. Okay. That's the beginning. So here I am foreseeing a window <laughs> to the exterior, but that's pretty cool. We have very little windows so far. Let's switch these around. Bum, ba, dum. Okay. Then we're going to need one more. Okay. Nice. Here we're going to continue until there. And here we're going to put a corner and we're going to run around. We're going to go around. Uh, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be very good. I'm liking it. And we're like on a roll. Like we already see, ah, uh, this is going to be epic. We're going to have to extend the building outwards so that the um, we cover oh that's not the right thing to do switch to the regular armor blocks let's race it let's we already see this is gonna be armor blocks so let's commit it commit it to we can probably remove the corners and give it a little bit of angle Probably this is where I use the rounded ones. Let's try that. If I already want to do it, you know, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, rounded ones. Nice. Contrast in shape. So you can use color, you can use texture, and you can use shape in order to create contrast. So you see, everything is very blocky and angled, and then suddenly this rounded thing. So it creates like interest. It it, it makes it different uh, from everything else, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a way to to like force interest into your design. Okay, so we have a comfortable and pressurized way up to the second floor, and I didn't want to spend time doing elevators and things like that because um, they can be expensive in PCU. And also because they do not preserve properly in a blueprint. And I want to be able to load, and you guys also, load this blueprint in survival and be able to like just 
you know, create a bunker, underground bunker, really fast on the fly with your friends. You notice it's not a ton of PCU, all this. Uh, and you can you can build the shaft or not. So if you, let's see how much this shaft is in PCU. Copy, and then it says 3,000, 3,300. So this shaft alone is 3,300 blocks. That's weird. Why is it so expensive though? Yeah, that's how much it is. So if you wanna save all those PCU, all those blocks, what you can do is just build the bunker without them, with, without the shaft, and then land in front of it. Uh, it's That's perfectly fine. I may even do that myself, I don't know. It's It's gonna be a nice bunker. But also like the shaft prevents the rocket from tilting. If it tilts, it just hits the armor and nothing gets damaged. Uh, and it doesn't tilt on top of your bunker. But either way, you can do, that's why we're building it modular, so that you can load, subscribe to all the blueprints and then load them uh, respectfully uh, as you need them. So here, let's keep going. So let's start. I'm gonna remove here and here. Same over here. Then I'm gonna start connecting. Let me try one thing. Eight. How would this look? Putting the half armor slope facing upwards and then running around it like that. Maybe a little bit higher up, do that. It's not bad, it's not bad. I think we can do it. I like it on the stairs more than... Oh, and we have, no, on the stairs we have the angle. We can go round it at the ceiling. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, but first, before we start the ceiling, all this, all this is... This command post, second floor. Okay, over here, I'm not so sure about the ceiling, so I'm gonna switch over to what I am actually sure of. I'm sure that there's gonna be a door here for the cryo room. So interior G, interior block, oh, it's already there, one. I like interior blocks because one again they're a different sh uh, texture, so they 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 create that contrast between the floor and the walls and the ceiling, and also because they have these little catwalks, lighted catwalks, and it creates momentum, it creates uh, like motion, uh, direction, so you know that you know like oh I walk this is this is my pathway this is I meant to walk this way, like that. So I can I can say here this is this is the way towards the stairs. People are always gonna cut through it. <laughs> you know how it is. It's like you put a sidewalk and people will just cut through the middle of the road. But that's the way things are. Still, you design it in a way to account for it. Okay, so yeah, they, they it's a pathway, and then they can take a right and go up, boom, and then here. We're going to have, again, interior blocks. Are we? You see, I'm not sure, so I'm going to let my brain work on that while I keep placing the doors here, the things that I am sure of. Okay, I think interior block there and there. Nice, very nice. Okay, let's get armor. Okay, because this extends over. 
we don't have to extend at the same place that this one does. We can remove this asymmetry Let's extend that way. Let's go up. Let's go up with the columns. Yeah, yep, yep, let's do that. Five is the column one. I call them columns, they're not really columns. Then we're going to repeat this process here. I think something fits there. It looks like something fits there. No, maybe not. Kind of, but weird. No, it's a little weird. Yeah, there's no way to... Maybe, maybe, wait, wait. I think there is a, mer a way to merge it. Let me see. No, I think not. No, there's not. I was thinking of the triangles, triangles here. Like that, but no, they, they don't. Oh, that's cool. I, w I wanted to place the slopes like that and connect them. Yeah, I know it looks weird. Okay, let's let's just get some distance let's get some distance from it okay six then here And I think now we can start doing it, the column again. We can do three, we can do four. Now we don't have to build a massive cafeteria. Okay. Six for the blocks, the armor block. Then I can use sloped. Eight for the sloped. I don't like it. Okay, nine. Hmm. How about this? Okay, I saw it. I saw it now. Get rid of everything. Okay, one sloped. Uh, eight. Boom, like that. Now here, we're gonna use nine. Like that. Then another slope, eight. And extend. 
now six to match it. We can switch it up. We can switch it up. We can make a whole different pattern here. Because and, and it's fitting because it's not a doorway. So it also kind of differentiates the doorway pattern from the window pattern. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. No. Okay, nine. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay. Boom. And now I can use the top to be sloped. Again, nine for the new corners. Place a new corner here. Six for the sloped. We got a window. Yeah, it's way better. It doesn't feel all cramped up on one side and then open on the other. It feels symmetrical and like there's just plenty of space. Okay, we need one one railway straight there. Excellent. Now we need an armor block regular. Like that. Boss. This is two by three, so this is perfect size for a window. And hopefully, ah, uh, no, we don't have a way. I do like it. I'm not changing it. So I'll have to commit in to putting the window in the interior okay so six no we can we can use we can use interior now for console players interior blocks cost half what an armor block cost the armor block cost two PCU on 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 console so that's why I, I try to i try to use in my blueprints interior block wherever i can okay so eight i'm gonna just match it six slope match what i did on the inside on the outside, I mean. And then nine. But notice that the window forced me one block inside, inwards. You see? So I have to account for that. Where I wanted to put the door, I, I now have to put something else. I don't like that. We can be way more efficient. It's not way more, but we can be more efficient. <laughs> okay. Sorry, but we gotta get it right. Okay. That is not right. Here. We're gonna do
Okay, let's just put that there. Okay, yeah. And then window two three. Get rid of the graded stairs, we don't need them. That's the three three, two three flat. Like that. And it's placed on the exterior. Now I don't have to go one wall inwards. Nine. Nah, nah, okay. Gonna move it further. So then now here I can Place the slope. This is going to be an angle. Wrong placement. Like that. Then eight. Put an armor block so that I can place uh, sloped. Wrong sloped. Well, this one goes here. So if I already have it selected, let's go ahead and place it. And then eight there. And that's okay. And it didn't occupy the window room. Get rid of that floating block. Hmm, I see it. Okay, we can use a corner to match these together like that. Awesome. And we'll need a corner over here to match the same. It's a little bit of armor shaping. They call this sculpting. Armor sculpting. But that way I know how much room I need before I commit like the functional blocks. Okay, perfect. We have a window and look, it even lines up with that. So that's perfect. So here we'll need to curve around. This has one structural armor block. Oh, that's not an armor block. Six. And then we can do the same. Corner. Where's the triangle facing outwards? It is facing outwards. And then here we go. With this corner. Now we can place the sloped armors. So that way we'll cut it to shape. Five. Six. 
Nice. We have another wall, a for window, G, interior, interior block. It's already there. It's always already there. It, you see, it doesn't have to be even that wall, that that wide. It's looking good. We have a compartment. And I, I went this way because it's also going to define how much room we have at the second level. We can now build the second level this way instead of towards the shaft. Let's commit this. Nope, not to six. It's like a frame, armor frame. the cafeteria so interior blocks okay here let's do the same one two three four five There's one interior block in the corner, one interior block in the corner. Okay, so let's do corner here. And then, where are the slope? There they are. Okay, so here's gonna be a corner. Perfect, like that. But this is good. We can put uh, one by two, one by two, one by two, one by two, and then two transparent LCDs in the middle if we wanted to. Connect there. And now let's do the same shape on the other side. So it's going to be. This is going to go away. Get rid of it all. Okay. So now here we can start with that corner. And then over here, triangle facing us. There it is but like that. Okay, now the sloped. I'm just gonna extend it, we'll clean it up later. Get the corners. Like that and how um, a two by three two by three window two by three flat on the exterior perfect so here goes the corner we need the other corner here Okay, sun is setting, so we're gonna realign it shortly. Let's do it. Alt F10, reverse sun, right there. <laughs> looking good, looking good. We have 
window here, no window here, so let's place one, three, two by three in the middle, ah, that's better, two by three in the middle, and then a one by two. One by two. Flat. Boom. Like that. Good stuff. Okay, let's make a area here for our door G window let's just grab the entire set excellent nice it's gonna line up perfectly with the airlock windows <laughs> like that then we have one door and three more now but we need probably we need a column right there Another one here. And the corner for it. We can get rid of these sloped. What if we keep going? What if we keep going one more? Let's do that. Let's just use this one to define the shape. Okay, there, and then corner here. And yeah, that's way better because now the corner lines up with the, and we can even put this corner here and see how it looks. Yeah, you see, now it lines up with the stair. Looks very nice. Marvelous. Okay. Now, oh, nice. I really like that. Okay, this block has to go. You gotta go. There. We can now use the corner. Five. Reverse it. Boom. Like that. Okay, so that means there is one corner here. And then let's connect the two sides. Nice. Use the half armors. Then over here, regular blocks, connect them, raise them, the frame, and that's the entrance to our cryer room. <laughs> Thinking what to do here. G. OK, 
Okay, where, where is it? Where is it? All right, let's not let's wait. Let's wait until I'm gonna get rid of everything but the frame. Be careful when removing in a line because if I were to remove this line, this will fall. Well, we're not in gravity, but in a gravity environment, it would. Oh, I'm removing this that I shouldn't. So that is going to be our structural frame. Looks like I may need to use those half armor slopes because an interior block here would protrude. But that's fine. We can do that. And we can do the same here. Let's see. Okay. So eight for half armor light blocks. Like that. We're going to do. Let's find the middle. One, two, three, four. Yep, this is the middle. Door. Right there. Perfect. So that means we have three on either side. Window. Get them all. Like that. Then the left one. Diagonal. And we have our cafeteria entrance. Let's add that corner. Then half armor slopes. I mean, half armor blocks, light armor, boom. And then another door. This one has space for two. So we'll use, we'll skip the middle, middle block. We'll just use the window corners. Excellent. Over here we have a two by three. So here goes a window. And I can just type two by three. Two by three flat. I'm gonna put it on the outside so that I can place blocks in front of the the the, the glass. And I'm trying to see. If I can. Create like a, a little a roof or something. But nah, it looks it looks odd. So I'll, I'll leave it like that. We have a window, we can add G, D slope here. Nope, no, no respawn. And then railing. It's coming together. Second floor, command room. Let's finish off the kitchen. Okay. 
g bar corner bar one there g bar another and another and then the desk they gotta be able to sit at the bar and put bread in my jar okay awesome so we have a bartender area here Let's do the kitchen. Now let's do desk, but now let's use chairless because in a cafeteria, you don't stand in front of the kitchen, right? You come up, get served, and then go back to your chair and eat it like a line you do a line you, they serve you your food and then you go and eat it i think i'm gonna push it one further bar the corner corner G bar okay G desk two yeah for people drinking around the base is enough <laughs> The rest of us got to do some work. <laughs> okay, so let's put the desk now on this side. And then we can also have only one kitchen. That makes sense. Okay, people come, people serve. And right in the middle. Stuck in the middle with you. Okay, right here. Uh, All right. We can go further. Actually, let's do like this. Then a chairless desk. No one sits at the corner like a kitty table. Nope. They'll get plenty of room. All right, now G have armor. Ah, oh, it doesn't match. Okay. This area is for the waiters to come by and serve you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you don't need that. You don't need that. What should we place here in the middle? I don't know. Okay, not needed. Hmm. 
G jukebox vending machine dispenser Dispenser. Actually, I'm going to put the dispenser. And I'm going to put the vending machine in this corner. you still get in? Yep. Yeah, you can. All right, jukebox. G. Let's see the decorative blocks. Oh, we need a bathroom. Let's put the projector block here. No, we'll leave that for the command room. Decorative blocks number two. Okay, let's put some planters in freight. All right, nice. Dining room done. Okay, let's get the armor blocks again. Regular block sloped. Corner. Nope. OK. 
Okay, let's build the ceiling. All right, just placing these corner now. Nice. Now we can switch to the half armor. Okay. G conveyors. All right. Oh, this is a perfect place for the vent. Or is it? Maybe. No, yeah, it's, be it's the best. It's best. G, vent. Okay, we have a fully pressurized kitchen. We can now look at the vent. Yep, it's green, it's pressurized, we're good. Okay, let's get conveyors. Another event. These words are interior vents, so they will always be set to pressurize, and the airlock will be the only one that fluctuates between pressurization and depressurization. Okay, so now we need to get one, one vent over here. That's going to get rid of our light. Or did it? It didn't. Conveyor. Okay. Now, I want to be able to hide these. Oh, it's pretty cool. Here we're going to hide generators. 
and everything. Okay. So we'll need generators, we'll need oxygen tanks, and we'll need engines. Let's start with a generator. Let's add an oxygen tank. Let's put another generator. I'm gonna flip them. Another oxygen tank. Then on this side, let's do the same thing. Actually, what am I doing? Let's just use the blocks in order to connect them. So that would be generator here, generator there. Mm. Yep, and generator there. Let's put uh, an oxygen tank here. Another oxygen tank. Oxygen tank. See an engine. Let's put an engine there. Let's put a generator here. Okay, another generator, four generators. Four generators, two engines. Now we can do better. Three engines. Four generators. Two oxygen, two more oxygen tanks. And a fourth engine. A hydrogen tank. I'm gonna put a small one. It's like a reserve. Then we need batteries.
six, eight. I'm gonna place a small reactor here. I see how much the reactor makes. Okay, it makes 15 megawatts. How does the engine do? 5 megawatts. One reactor is like 3 engines. Okay, turn the engines off. I'm gonna move this hydrogen tank. This way. So that I can also prepare the connection for the cryo room. Okay, now we have three, seven, 14 batteries. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna put armor blocks to seal it. G. Alright, just finishing up the ceiling here. At this corner. G, regular armor. Okay, nine.
five here for the sloped. Nice. Very good. Okay, let's raise this. Probably not that much, but we'll see once we put the door. window okay there's it there it is now We have that. Now here we can seal it off using the rounded. Then let's add a corner. You don't have to build this space on the ground either. You can definitely load it up in the surface and it's gonna be fully pressurized and sealed and it's gonna look good wherever you place it. G armor armor and then here let's do a corner Actually, let's do the corner here Gonna move the corner so that it's lined up and symmetrical with the other one. Excuse me. Okay, let's place them sloped. Okay, 
going to do something else. that and a lower one and then the triangle okay we have that one there check our PCU Tacho nothing 3000 PCU and we already have functional hydrogen oxygen generators and engines reactor batteries we're missing the refinery assembler the cargo and hydrogen tanks large hydrogen tanks we've got that Oh no. I think I built the stairs too low, too low. The whole point was to put armor blocks around these. Oh well. I'm going to turn on my light. Here we're going to use these armor blocks. Does look odd. Oh well, nope. We're gonna use graded catwalks. No stairs. Well, that's it. That was all. Now, one interior. Like that. Fixed. Can replace this armor block with a triangle corner because that one lines up with a graded catwalk. Then G railing. straight there and then the diagonal one right there oof
Let me make sure it's airtight. It is. Generator seals the engine that sticks out. Can get rid of this. Replace it with the rounded ones. Okay. Okay, I think here we're going to need regular armor blocks. Same here. Okay, let's get rid of these catwalk railings not this though so let's use five let's put armor blocks and then sloped We can bring this all the way to the edge. Okay, I'm looking for the edge. G nine. Not one more backwards. Okay, that is lined up with this side. Let me double check. Yes, looks good. Let me raise this armor.
right. Let's nine. Okay. It's getting tricky placing everything together. And then round the corner. Okay, like that. Eight for the corners, and we're looking for the beginning of the corner. Let's do it over here as well. One, the beginning of the corner. Okay, no. I want to use half armor slopes at the top. So I'm not going to be able to merge them using that one corner that I had. So I'm going to switch them for this one. Now, five. Get rid of all this. Oh, nice. I don't have to be that wide. Yeah, that's way better. Now I can actually put the rounded circle. Where I want it. Nice, I like that. Okay, nine. Okay, what if I keep going outwards like that, I can always redesign it. Five. Now I want to seal off and I have to get rid of this corner for air tightness. 
but no matter because it's pretty cool that you can see the corner here down below okay I'm going to Okay, where am I gonna add the door here? Batteries. Let's put the door like that, and then a window. All right, that's sealed. I want to redesign this. Okay, let's get rid of all this. Okay. G Generator, engine, and tanks. Missing the reactor, but it's fine. Okay, generator. Facing down. Next, generator. To create the angle here. Need another generator in order to create that angle and a fourth one. Like that, inverted. Now there's this connection here. So we can fit one engine. we can fit the reactor like that and then the engine like that actually the engine can even connect back to the generator now here we need tanks three two oxygen tanks let's just keep the oxygen here oxygen and a conveyor to a tube connect it and in this one G vent we put a vent okay let's look for interior blocks again Well, I think it's looking good. I think it's looking very good. 
It's missing a paint job. I'm going to blueprint it. Boss. Okay, I see an improvement I can make. Right there. Sweet. That's epic. What if, what if we wrap around this? No, 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 it's too many blocks and nothing, nothing fancy. Okay, let's replace it. That way, all I need to do is change this area. Okay, let's double check. We get off the rocket, we come in, we close all the doors, it pressurizes. We close the door, it pressurizes. Okay, kitchen is also pressurized. We climb up. And then here we have this. 
where we get effect repairs. And it's also pressurized. We need lights. G, control station. Excuse me. I'm aware we don't have a way to get cargo yet. Interior plate. That's the one. Let's use a uh, Let's use this hydrogen tank. Alright, let's start extending our cryo room. G. A conveyor to. No, a conveyor square so it seals. And I, I'm guaranteed that room over there is sealed. That way, if one compartment gets damaged, the entire base doesn't depressurize. Okay, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that block. I know I can switch to plane, but I'm kind of lazy and this is so quick. Okay. 
drop this down. No, we're gonna make this a corner. Now we have to fit cryopods. Let's make two block pathway. And then cryopod. Push these further outwards. Twelve people, that's 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 a lot. Let me see, let me see, what's the max faction size? Space engineers. Max faction size. Factions. I guess faction sizes are unlimited. Now nah, I'm going to keep it with 12. If you want, you can add more. I'm going to have it flow from the ceiling. Getting hungry, so we're going to stop the stream in about 15 minutes. But yeah, if you've liked the video so far, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any more Tectonic videos. Let's put a vent. I'm going to seal it off. Hide all these conveyors. Okay. 
Okay, let's get Windows. Two, three. Here we're going to put a 3, 3. And we're going to do the same trick. So we can place it on the outside. Let's switch reactor. We don't need those anymore. Let me see what I did over here. Okay, downwards. that and that boom probably can get rid of this nope but we can replace them with interior ones that's expensive ones that's expensive blocks. I'm stuck. Ah. Okay. We're unstuck. <laughs> Six foot armor blocks below. And then above. And above again. Yep. This one does go. Let's put the windows in. Two, three. Invert it, so no, no, let's use the regular one. Like that. And then the three, three. Oh no, now it's the two, three as well. Okay. Nah, I think it's fine. Let's just put armor blocks, cover the conveyors. G catwalk, 
Go with that conveyor. And then over here to repair. If anyone needs to repair, something breaks, they can check it, they can repair. Okay, now here we'll need to pressurize it. Or now all we need is a half armor. Like that. Okay, seven. Ah. Okay, almost done. Just need to finish. Placing these sloped armors. Excellent. Yeah, it looks better. Nice. Prior room is fully pressurized. G. Let's get the window one by one and the one by two. One by two over there. And one by one here. Conveyor junction. Tube and then G. Okay, no. G window. Where's the one by one again? Here it is. That's better. All right, we have a fully functional cryo room. Okay, let's take a tour before we we close for the day. Okay, so let's paint a picture. Where is the shaft? Okay, so this wall will be part of that shaft module over there. We'll use the blueprints 
different blueprints, two, set, two blueprints, one for the shaft and one for the base in order to line it up at whatever level our rocket happens to land in. And then when the rocket lands, the door will line up to this door. So it'll be easy to just hit depressurize, enter through the airlock. And here, we can either go further into the base, which is fully pressurized all the time, 100% of the time. So the airlock needs to pressurize before letting you in. And, or you can go to the depressurized cavern around the shaft, like so you can walk around the shaft. And over there, you'll find the industrial area with like all the large cargo containers, all the refineries, assemblers, and whatnot, and the large hydrogen tanks plus you'll find a 3d printer a cheap 3d printer something like this okay something like this like the hydrogen the cargo assemblers uh, and protected armored protected in case a drone falls on top of it runs out of battery or hydrogen and falls on top of it at least they're somewhat protected and then we have a 3d printer module which is gonna be like this on the outsides of the shaft and it'll have a opening for where fighter drones can like detach and then fly all the way up to the surface and fight our incoming freighters, the incoming freighters. Uh, but yeah, we have our base fully fledged out. We build it out today. Uh, it's not full, it's not fully fleshed out. It needs timer blocks, it needs lights, it needs uh, programming those timer blocks. It needs a remote control. It needs an antenna. And uh, it needs a paint job. <laughs> we need to paint it. It's like monocolor. So we have to we have to do something about that. But yeah, now with the general shape of it and fully pressurized, the next uh, episode is going to be way easier and less of sculpting and trying to figure out things is going to be way more straightforward because we're going to be programming the existing blocks and then we'll need to build a better industrial area i think i want to keep the hydrogen like this because i like this corridor that you can just climb the stairs and then fix whichever hydrogen tank is, is damaged. And then check also here, you can put them on stockpile, on and off, see the L LCD. But yeah, should be, should be good uh, at the end. And then finally, just so that you can see it all together, I'm gonna exit and save. Wait, before I exit and save, I'm gonna create a blueprint of this rename so I replace okay and now exit game save yes and we're gonna look at the bunker we're gonna look at the hole we dug during the series and see like so that I can show you exactly how everything is gonna fit together so you get a better reference of what we've been doing this whole stream so this is our survival uh, playthrough, although I switched it, uh, I gave myself created, creative so that I, because I was designing the blueprint underneath the ground, but it was so dark, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't see what I was placing and you guys couldn't see anything that I was doing. So it was, it wasn't productive or efficient. So we moved to space, <laughs> but I want to go back to the bunker and get a sense of the size of it so that. I also don't end up building way too big. But yeah, here is where I started the hydrogen tanks and you can see it's very dark. But this is our silo sh uh, shaft, our bunker shaft here. There is our rocket projection. This is the surface of Pertam where we dug and over here we'll have the 3d printer kind of thing and on one side on the other side we'll have the entrance to the bunker base so that's pretty much what we're doing and then when we go to the the survival save file 
which I already have, but it doesn't have all these blocks. It just has the middle, as we left it in the last episode, the middle uh, uh, functional blocks will load the blueprint that we're working up in space and then we'll build it out by hand. And I'll show you that it is possible to build that size of a base, even this shaft, because we'll also use a drone, a welder drone, and it only has to carry steel plates. So we'll put like thousands of steel plate on the drone and then just go around in an angle diagonally until we weld up the entire shaft. So it's gonna be no trouble to weld it. We just need the blueprint. The blueprint is what's difficult. Uh, so next episode, we'll continue working on that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, please don't forget to like the video if you did. Don't, uh, also subscribe to get, uh, and hit the notification bell. And that way you get notified as soon as we upload a new video or we go live. And again, I appreciate your patience. I know I haven't been uploading as much as often as uh, I am. I usually do this week. But it's because we are relocating to Puerto Rico, nice, warm, sunny Puerto Rico. Uh, that's my home. Uh, that's where I, where I grew up. That's where my family is. And, and now I, I have an opportunity to work there and move close to my friends and family. And I cannot pass it up. So it takes a little bit of time and effort to do that. But um, once we're there, uh, hopefully in a week or two, uh, we will be back up uh, to normal programming capacity and even further because we'll be settled in a nice office and everything and it should all work out uh, good but in the meantime uh, I'll do live streaming and continue base building uh, because we still have a long way to go as you saw in order to fully fletch out that blueprint we were working on earlier but yeah with that said Hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend or weekday, whenever it is you're watching this video. And I'll see you hopefully on the next one. Have a good one, guys. See ya.